I wanted to share with everybody part of my painting process um, for this figure that's coming out soon. Uh, this will be coming out in February for assembly required. Uh, what I'm doing is you you can notice if you notice the uh, I have a matte and gloss coats on here. It's something that I like doing. I the first time I did something like this was with my um, Frank the Noid, which was released last year with DKE. Uh, that figure was the first time I tried this kind of paint app. I like the uh, the way the two work together, you know. It, it's so hard to paint on there, but while I'm with this camera in the way. <laughs> but uh, I like the way the the gloss and the matte play against each other. It's pretty neat. Um, what I'm using is this stuff here. It's called Interior Exterior Varnish, water-based. Uh, I got this from a local art supply store that for $9.99. It says it's matte, but uh, as you can tell, when I paint it on there, it's glossy. <laughs> you can see more with these that have been dried already. You can see the comparison there. It's a matte-ish gloss. Maybe I guess you could say semi-gloss, but uh, it works for me. Uh, I like the way it looks, so... As I said, these will be available at Assembly Required in Asheville, North Carolina in February. Uh, these figures are characters from a video game that I'm programming myself. Uh, it's called Bad Guy Boot Camp. And it's sort of a uh, bootleg video game if you if you will, because uh, I'm using Darth Vader as the character in the in the game. <laughs> this is uh, pretty much what, what he looks like in the game. Uh, of course, you see him from behind in the game, but um, I wanted to create this bootleg figure to... Uh, I've been doing this for a couple years now. And uh, this idea was like to take the idea of the bootleg action figures and kind of take some of those ideas into the video game world. Um, I will have a demo of the game at the uh, convention, so you'll be able to play that. Uh, there's actually a demo online right now, but uh, it's a older incarnation of the game um, of the demo I'll have a newer version of the demo available to play at assembly required uh, we're even talking about we're gonna have two games um, me and a buddy are teaming up on this uh, and we're talking about doing some sort of tournament play where we'll give prizes out for high scores and things like that so, okay, I think I've got that. As you can see, uh, I don't know if the camera will, will get uh, get in there good enough, but this stuff tends to sort of suds up, bubble up when you're applying it. It does dry without bubbles in it, so that's, that's nice. But uh, when I first started using it, it kind of like worried me because I didn't know what was going on but uh there you go okay that's the last one i'm finishing it up right now so i'll have 
25 of these guys. A couple of these are already being, already promised out as prizes for a contest I did online. So you guys are getting a look at what they'll look like. So here's kind of a more of a look at it. It's pretty much finished paint job now. So as you can see, uh, this head was from, uh, what is that, 1997. Uh, Pez dispenser, <laughs> the uh, the cape. Uh, I believe that was. Uh, I forget what character that came off of. That was a piece of a of clothing. So uh, this is completely sculpted by me. I used popsicle sticks, toothpicks, and clay. Uh, and then the body was a uh, Tuscan Raider female. Uh, this was the, the clothes, the bottom of the clothes, and then I filled it in there, but, and that's how the figure was made, but you get a good look at it now. Anyways, just thought I'd make this video to kind of show everybody a little bit of inside look at what I do here in the studio. All right. Thank you. See you at assembly required.